are bookstagram photos still valuable to authors? We know that Instagram as a whole is still very important to author success, to reach new communities, to have conversations and to make those book sales. And so spending time on Instagram is valuable, is important, and is something we should be prioritizing as authors. But over the years, we've seen Instagram sway from photos to photos and video to mostly videos. So are photos still relevant? And the simple answer is yes. We train our algorithms to show us what we want to see. And on Instagram, people don't only want to see videos. Videos do well because videos compete with TikTok, with YouTube, and with the other video platforms. So we know that Instagram leans heavily into videos, but each person's individual algorithm feed is based on their actions, the things that they stop to watch, the things that they engage with, what they share, what they comment on. And Instagram has come out to say the most conversation we have happening in Instagram is through DMs. People are sending things and having conversations and talking to people. The communication is most through DMs, which we can talk about in another video if you want to talk about marketing and working on building up your relationships through DMs, but that's another conversation. But they're still sharing those things into the DMs. So people who are connecting with video, people who are connecting with photos are still sharing them, are still liking and engaging and interacting with those things. And we have a very big bookstagram community. So pretty book photos will always perform well, but they have to be pretty. They have to be curated. They have to look nice. If you just take a random photo on your cell phone and it's kind of pixelated and there's a lot of shadows and we really don't know the focus, that has never performed well and never will perform well. If you are intentionally creating an image, that's going to do a lot better. And that can be a flat lay image. And that could be you holding your book up. And that could be your book stuck up in a tree, intentionally designed to be peering through those leaves to look at the tree that has something to do with the story that it's holding up. You have to have some type of story and some type of conversation with that. So you need a scroll stopping image, which you can take on your phone. It doesn't have to be with a professional photographer. It doesn't have to be something that you do with a high end camera. You can do this with your phone and a nice little pocket size light to make sure it's illuminated. And then you just need to learn about proper placement of that book. If it's a flat lay, you're going to be surrounding it with some pretty things, things that have to do with the books. You're going to be using colors that pop on Instagram. We've talked for years on my main channel on how the color spectrum has shifted on Instagram from certain colors over to other colors, over to what is expected these days. And so you are just doing things that make your book look really pretty, that stop the scroll. If you are going over to the explore tab where you're looking through things and it's going to be something that pops in that grid of a bunch of different things, then you're doing something right. So experiment with your photos. You want to make sure you're showing off your book and you with your book and parts of your book and the fronts of your book and the back of your book and the inside of your book. Show the things that will stop people scroll. The people in the book community, in the bookstagram community, know what they're looking for. They know what to expect. And when they see that in a way that is represented of something that they really like, they're going to stop to investigate a little bit more. So you should be using both video and photos on your Instagram. And the nice thing is the photos that you're taking for your Instagram can go on your grid. They can go in your Instagram stories, which can also can live in your highlights. And the photos that you're taking to put in your stories and on your grid can also be used in reels. You can come up with creative ways to show those things off in your reels. And in fact, you don't even just have to use the photos. If you are creating like a pretty flat lay, take your camera, take the picture, but then also just switch it over to video and just kind of move around on the flat lay that you've created. Movement constitutes video, right? And that gets people's attention. So you can use the same thing in multiple ways in your stories, on your grid, and in your reels just from one setup. If you are taking your book outside and you're putting it up against some flowers and like really pretty things, you can use it in those three ways. If you are taking it and holding it by a pool, you can use it in those three ways. If you are creating content at all with your book, you can use it in video and in photos. You can use them in the long term and in the short term. You can use these in a lot of different ways, but then you also have pretty images to put on your website, to use in your ads, to do all the things with. So yes, photos are still valuable. They may not get the same reach as your videos. They may be perceived in a different way, but they can make just as many sales as everything else you're creating. And you can use it in multiple ways. Therefore, you're saving time and effort. And if you space these out by a couple of weeks, so you take a picture and you put it up and then two weeks later, you take the video clip and you put it up. 
all of a sudden you've just cut your workload in half or in a third. There's a lot of options for this. So bookstagram images are still valuable. The prettier you can make it, the more valuable it will be to the people. You want to stop the scroll and catch their eye and you want to highlight your book in a way that gets them to stop and stare at that cover or that interior graphic or whatever it happens to be because that is going to get them to investigate further and then you have a really good strong caption and in that caption you're going to convince them to read your book. Now, if you want to talk more about this, we can do this. I have tons of tutorials on Instagram and how to use reels and how to use Instagram photos and all those things over on the main channel, youtube.com slash Robinson. But I'm happy to do author specific questions here. So drop those down below and we'll see in the upcoming episodes as we continue to help you navigate the world of social media for authors to make sure that this is your most profitable year ever with least amount of stress and overwhelm and time commitment on the content you're creating. So we'll see in the upcoming episodes.